made it to Luang Prabang and this city has quickly become one of my favorites here in Southeast Asia. This is the cultural hub of Laos and we're going to show you a few of the things you can do around town. So when you're visiting Luang Prabang, it's really easy to stick to the city center. There's so much to do and see there. But if you have the time, come outside and explore the outskirts of the city. Come check out the more rural sections. Right now we're going across a bamboo bridge and we're going to see what's on the other side. Lead the way! Because this is a very small city, it's really easy to find yourself in the countryside. So that's exactly what we've been doing, just wandering down rural areas. And we even found a dog to, to join us for the walk. And now we are up bright and early for a biking tour around the city. We picked up these bikes for 20,000 kip, which is $2.50. And we have them for the day, so we're going to be cycling around. Let's see what we find. When comparing Luang Prabang to other cities in Southeast Asia, there are some major advantages. One of them being that there's hardly any traffic here. It's a wonderful opportunity to take out your bicycle and just explore. You can go down the main roads, you can go down the side streets, and you're not going to have to deal with cars and other bicycles or even pedestrians. Prabang is very pedestrian friendly. In fact, there are so many different little back alleys and lanes to explore that it's just a great idea to wander about without any sense of direction. some fantastic views in the city so one of our recommendations is to enjoy a meal by the river which is what we're doing tonight another thing you want to do when you're in Luang Prabang is to visit all the temples around the city this morning we are visiting Wat Chien Thong and it's one of the main temples in Luang Prabang. It is also known as the Golden City Temple and it really has some impressive glass mosaics so you'll want to wander around and take some photos. Twenty thousand kip to enter which is two dollars and fifty cents American and like most places, it's good to come early because it starts to get busy during the middle of the day. Now it's time for us to get a little bit of exercise. We're going to climb up 328 steps, up Mount Fusi, which is actually more like a hill, for the best views of Luang Prabang. to reach the top of this mountain is 20,000 kip which again is two dollars and fifty cents and it's kind of cool going up because you go up one way and then you come down the other side of the mountain so you get to see different views along the way and how could we have a list of things to do in a city without focusing on the local cuisine we're here at our favorite rest in tamarind we've been here so often it's literally our home away from home and we're going to show you a few of our favorite dishes So this over here is a coriander pickle 
Next we have an eggplant dip, tomato dip, we have a paste made from buffalo skin, we have some seaweed chips, and then some vegetables that we can use with the sauce. So let's dig in. And that all goes together, of course, with our sticky rice. Ooh. So Sam is going to demonstrate for so this us. This is how you eat it. You just kind of put together a little ball like that, and then you can pick a different dip. I'll try the buffalo sauce here. Put it together just like that. Pop it in your mouth. Delicious. So this is the second plate we've ordered. Again, here we have a vegetable pickle. This is a pork salad that also has banana flowers. We have a pork sausage. Here's some buffalo jerky, Sam's favorite. Oh yeah. And over here we have some little lettuce rolls that are stuffed with different dips, different sauces. So we'll be trying those. We've ordered so much food, we almost forgot about this next dish. But it's time for me to do the honors. I'm going to unveil our steamed fish, which comes wrapped in a banana leaf. And it's called mokpa. Ooh, Let's see what's in here. It's like opening a present. I know, it's like Christmas on a plate. Oh, wow. There it is. See the steam coming off of it. Mm, that's gonna be good. And when the sun goes down, it's time to go shopping. We're at the tourist night market and we're picking up souvenirs. thing that Luang Prabang is known for is for its alms giving which happens at 6 a.m. every morning. This is where monks collect alms of rice from kneeling locals and tourists. on how not to be a total wanker at the ceremony. First, don't use your flash, don't blind the monks. And secondly, don't chase them down. You see people doing both of these things and it's infuriating. If you love to eat like we do, then you can't leave Luang Prabang without taking a cooking class. Today we're at the Fusi Market and we're picking up ingredients before we start preparing our food. Sugar, Lao cooking, like Thai food. You see, you taste Thai food, it tastes milky, creamy, smithy, because they add lots of coconut milk, lots of sugar. That's why the food tastes like that. Lao food, when you eat, tastes lots of herb, lots of texture. This is Lao food. <laughs> so I'd like to point out the Sam and I are making the exact same dish. This is his sauce. <laughs> This is mine. What are you missing? Just about everything. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have our buffalo salad. So we, we stir fried some buffalo meat and we also added bean sprouts. There's banana flowers. We have string beans, hot chilies, and mint leaves. So we're going to be rolling this up in lettuce leaves. It's kind of like a little fresh roll. 